Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we go over how to import a tempo map. If you don't already know, a tempo map is just that. It's a map of the tempo changes within any particular song, whether it's a song that you're working on with your band or a song that you might be working on for your client. When you're working on these songs for your clients, it's important to have the tempo map in there so you can see where the changes are and it can also change the information going to your time-based effects, things like delays, to actually lock those delays in with the proper tempo at the different sections of the song. Also, if you're working with your band, maybe you're not the drummer in your band and you are the guitar player and the drummer did his part and has the tempo map and sent it to you along with the files so that you can put your guitar parts or vocal parts or whatever your part in the band is. So today, let's go over how to get these tempo maps and import them into Studio One. So here we are inside of the session, and it's a blank session. It does have these two tracks here. One is my microphone, and one is my mix bus. This is something I do for every one of my sessions, or every one of my videos. That's what this red track is. But we need to import our MIDI information and our tempo map, which is most important right now. Our default tempo for this session is actually at 112 beats per minute. This is from an older song I was working on and that just carried over. But that's not what I need. What I need to do is import this MIDI file right here. And that's where the tempo map is actually baked into. It's baked into MIDI files. If you don't know how to create one of these, I already have a video going over the process and I'll put a link to that in the description. So here we go. Here is our MIDI file that has our tempo information. Now, if we just drag it in to the track area here, what it will do is actually create a new song based on the information that it's pulling in. And that's not what I wanna do. Maybe I already have a bunch of tracks in this session and I don't need to create a whole new song and bring all of those tracks in, maybe with all of my automation and my plugins. I don't need that. I just need the tempo map. It is really easy. Come up here and click on this button here so you can see your track visibility. This is the global track visibility. And what you want to do is find tempo. When you can see tempo here, and we can verify that it is the tempo, one, because it says tempo, two, we can see our 112, which we can verify from the bottom of the screen, and it says it right here as well. Now, it's drag and drop. It's the easiest thing. Bring this up here onto your tempo track. Just bring it all the way over to the beginning of the song. And now when I zoom out, you're gonna see all these different nodes that are the tempo changes for this song. This song in particular was not recorded to a click track and I went in and created the tempo map. So that's why you can see lots of different variations and as the song goes on, they got faster. They were excited. We're getting to the end of the song, it's exciting. But it's that easy. It's drag and drop. If you also check out the PreSonus channel on YouTube, you may have seen Gregor's videos of drag and drop wizardry. And he inspired this video because there are so many great drag and drop features baked right in to Studio One. You really should, as he said, just try it. It most likely will work. One thing to watch out for, like I was saying earlier, is if we just drag this in. One, this will try and create just a node here with no information and is an instrument track called tempo with no instrument. You don't want that. Also what you don't want is to drop down with this arrow here and drag this tempo file here. If you try and drag this one that says tempo up into the tempo track here, this is when it will create a new song called tempo. Watch. So it will just create a new song that has the song information baked in, if that's something that was in the original file, and the tempo information, but it creates a whole new song. And if you're already working on something or have already imported all of the audio, you don't really need to do that. If you're just starting out, maybe you can do that and then start bringing in all of your audio. For me though, just grab the outer shell, the main file, drag it into the tempo track, 
and you're good to go. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timflansbaum.com. And if you have a question, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.